What's up everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Harvest Moon 64. Alright, today, um, I'm only really going to be focusing on one thing. I have to get a chicken today. Like, I have to. Well, in this episode, not necessarily today, because I learned that I still don't have enough money for a chicken. I have to have 1,500 gold for a chicken. I also, um, need to give these fishes out. If I see the, the fisherman, um, give the big fish to him and he'll give you a recipe. Give the small fish, or the medium fish, sorry. Uh, there's also another one that's smaller, but I don't have it right now. Give the medium fish to, um, there's a specific carpenter you have to give it to. I think it's the one that uses the saw. There's another one that uses like a hammer or an axe. Um, if you give it to him, he won't give you a recipe. So you, I don't, we'll figure out which one it is, but you gotta give a medium fish to one of those guys. Also, um, just another thing real quick that I've been trying to do that kind of helps me out to have more time in the day to give the gifts that I need to give to people and not have to worry about um, selling, uh, you know, putting, putting something in the bin and then feeding my dog every day. I don't have to come back to the farm for that. I try to harvest, I've set up kind of a routine where I get where I keep a, an edible herb and a medicinal herb in my rucksack when I go to sleep yesterday. Um, I also picked a cabbage so I wouldn't have to go out there and do that today. And then I didn't see, well, I just didn't have time to give these fishes out yesterday. I will still try and fish this morning too. Every morning I'm going to try and catch two fish. If you're not successful, if you only get one, that's fine. But try and catch two, but I can give these out and then try to catch two more and then I, I might be able to sell those tomorrow. So. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Um, it'll give you a little bit more time during the day to give gifts and things like that. So I'm going to brush my horse, ride him, um, feed my dog, and all that stuff, and then I'm going to head out and fish. So here we go. So here we go. He's going to give us a recipe for fish. Awesome. There we go. Alright, we got the grilled trout cheese recipe. That actually sounds pretty good. Let's give her a flower. Blue heart. Gosh, she's got to be close. She's got to be close. What's going on? He really likes music boxes. Good thing I have an infinite number of them. She also really likes cabbages. One of these days, one of these days, we'll get there. It's gonna happen. Alright, I'm going to... See if I can find Basil over here. Uh, whatever that is, that's really loud. Someone's got like a motorcycle out there. It's freaking way loud. <sighs> Maybe Basil will be at the bar tonight. I hope he is because... I really need to... The reason we want to become friends with Basil is because he, when he goes away on his like annual trip that he does, um, he comes back in the spring again with a power berry. And that's the only way you can get it. So you have to be good friends with him so he'll bring a, the power berry or power nut or whatever you want to call it. So you can bring that back. Yeah, watch this. I'm going to show you what happens if you take a bug to Maria. She likes bugs a lot. Oh, how sweet. That's just freaking weird, Maria. I'm not going to lie. It's just, it's just freaking weird. What you could do is you could bring your dog into the bar and you could talk to Karen like over and over and over again. And now the way the game works is that you're only supposed to be able to boost affection with a girl a certain amount with a gift every day. So if I give a girl a gift, it, you know, it calculates that and then you can't boost it anymore. But there's a glitch with the dog. If you bring the dog and talk to Karen, um, you can continue boosting that affection stat over and over and over and over and over again. You can get her up to a pink heart in one day if you want to. 
There's a couple reasons why I'm not doing that. First of all, that that goes a little too far. Like, that makes the game a little too easy. I'm trying to have some level of challenge. I know that I am cheating on some fronts, whatever. Say what you want, I don't really care. But that's not one I really want to use. But the second reason is because on my birthday in the summer, I'd rather have Maria at a pink heart before Karen because Maria gives you a better gift. So that's another reason why I'm not doing that. Let's ride the horse there though. Ride the horse. Ride the horse as much as you can. Don't hit the horse with the hoe though. That's bad news. And let's grab a cabbage. For tomorrow. Let's head inside and go to sleep. Okie doke. Alright. Today we're going to get another power berry. I'm going to show you how. We're also going to buy a chicken today. Two things to keep in mind. When you buy a chicken, make sure you have enough money to at least get a couple of bags of feed. I think they're 10 gold apiece. So the 1500 plus an extra 20 at least. Just so that in case you're doing this on a day when the shop's going to be closed the next day, you're not going to be screwed. Because if the, if the ranch is closed on a day that you need chicken feed, you can't get it. So you really need to watch that. That's going to be something we always have to keep an eye on is do we have chicken feed? Do we have enough chicken feed? Do we have enough chicken feed? So always be checking that. Always be buying more when you get the chance. So um, anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do any work this morning. Um, your stamina has to be at 100% when you throw an offering to the goddess and the earliest time that you can throw an, an offering to her is at uh, I think it's 9 a.m. So we're just gonna go straight up there wait till 9 a.m. and throw a cabbage in there and then we'll come back and grab another cabbage from Maria so here we go. This thing in there. Here she comes. Okay, so just to clarify, I haven't done any work at all this morning. I have 100% stamina when I come and I wish for strength. I'll give you something else. A power berry. Freaking boosh. Alright, so we got four out of the ten altogether in the game, so we're making pretty good progress with that. Alright, so now just uh, grab a couple flowers, chop some wood, head back to your farm and feed your dog, and ship um, one of these. And continue to be friends with this sprite. Grab one of those to sell. Shut up, Kent. I'm trying to talk to Basil. Okay, here's Basil. Give him a flower. Alright, so the chicken's 1500. Let's buy that. And then make sure you come over here and, and buy chicken feed too. I believe it's, uh, yeah, 10 gold per meal. So at least get two of those as well. She loves books. Here you go. Alright, so we get to name our chicken now. Now, I'm going to name my chicken um, Piff. And I'm doing that in honor of a good friend of mine who used to play this game, who named his first chicken Piff and let it die. So one morning he woke up and came out and it said Piff died, and we all laughed because we thought it was hilarious. So Piff is going to be the name of my chicken. Let's go feed Piff real fast. We'll grab that last cabbage too. This is where the chicken coop is. Come in here. Alright, so here's our chicken. This is Piff, the chicken. You can check which coop is which chickens. So, like, it, it's impossible to distinguish between the chickens. By the way they look, they all look the same. So, if one of your chickens is sick and you know which one it is, you come and you just press the A button next to the pin, and it'll tell you which one it is. So, let's feed him. Oh, jeez. Wrong thing. There we go. So, he's fed. And tomorrow... Piff will get us an egg. Well, I guess it's a she, really, not he. 
Piff, the female chicken, will give us an egg. And the first egg, what we're going to need to do is put it into this incubator, because then we can hatch chickens ourselves and not have to buy six chickens. So we can basically fill this uh, chicken coop with six chickens altogether, and half, five of them will get virtually for free. So that's the plan for tomorrow. All right, that should be everything. Let's head on in, actually. Let's grab this real fast before we go. Right him one more time and then head inside. All right, that's where I'm going to stop the episode for now. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. I love this game. It's a lot of fun. And uh, peace. We'll see you tomorrow for the next episode.